is when, when you're when you're leveling up, when you're doing these trainings, when you're doing all these different tasks that you do in the business, it's great that you do it. But let's be honest, I want, I want you to drop some like on a scale of one to 10. If you did a training before and it was your first time, but if you look back in the past, you did that same, you did the same training today and you try to do it multiple times. Are you better? Yes or no? Type of one if you are, type of two if you're not. You're better. Right? So now I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to show you how you've done it, but you're not aware that you've done it. Right? How many of you have um, did a presentation, right? And before you did a presentation, you got people on the presentation, they got started. But you had the aha moment. Let me show the plan. Now you were afraid to show the plan, but when you showed the plan, people got started. Type of one in the chat, type of two in the chat if you have it. And, and the reason why I want you to understand that is because you want everything to be perfect and it's not about perfection. It's about duplication. Because you got on a, think about it. Everybody on this call right now was on a presentation and you what signed up you got started from a presentation some sort of three-way but we don't do the same thing people will get started get success and try to do something different let's make it make sense that doesn't make any sense so how you guys start thinking now okay cool is if what I'm doing, is it duplicatable? Is what you do on a day-to-day basis duplicatable? If it's not duplicatable, then why are you doing it? Said something there. A lot of people have a lot of great ideas that aren't duplicatable. A lot of people have a lot of great ideas that aren't duplicatable. You are going to say, think, things to talk about. Oh, right. So in reality, there is nothing to talk about. I just said go live. Because while you're on live, you're going to figure things to talk about. When people say, what do I talk about? Like who asked you? Just say go live. Talk about whatever you want to talk about. Because the whole point, like I said in the beginning on our first call, facts tell, but stories what? What do stories do? So stories sell. So you have to start thinking how many stories are you telling and how many people are hearing that story? How listen, we're rappers, we're singers. You know what our album is called? Run the play. You know what our number one song is called? Show the plan. You know what our number two hit single is going to be? The presentation. We, we, listen, our songs that people need to hear are the presentations. If I do music, check me out. If I do music, I just want people to hear my song. So I'm going to talk about it on TikTok. I'm going to dance with it. I'm going to talk about it on Facebook with some ads. I'm going to play it in the club. I'm playing in the radio because I want people to hear my what? Song. You have a song that you're pushing. The song that you're pushing is the presentation. You want people to hear the presentation on their Instagram, on their TikTok, on their Facebook, everywhere, all, all times a day. Because then they start to hear it. And when they hear it, they start to speak it. Oh my gosh. And when you speak it and you hear it, you now believe it. So now you're building belief. I'm telling y'all, I'm giving y'all everything you need over the next 90 days. And this is just day two. Technically this is Thursday, but you know, Tuesday, but you know what I'm talking about. This is, this is our second video recording. So what you have to understand is how many people is hearing my number one hit? Now everybody got that one hit wonder. That's that HFX over there. HFX, get them in quick, you know, boom, boom, boom. You know, then you got that, that, that one song you got on replay. That's that crypto, that's that DCX. I keep, I got it, I got it, that crypto, I got to hear it all day, every day. I'm buying all day, every day. Then you, you might got that slow song, that jingle, that's that FRX. It don't, it don't hit as fast as HFX, but it's, that's, that's, that, that's that slow and steady that, that's always going to come through for you. 
So what tune are you singing, not only to yourself, but to your organization? And what tune are they singing to their organization and to their organization and to their organization? It's called duplication. But before you can repeat the lyrics to your favorite song, you have to hear it. And then once you hear enough times, you start to speak it. So the reason why I want you going live is so you can hear yourself talking so you can start speaking it more. Because the more you just start naturally speaking, the easier it's gonna be for you to talk about what you do. It's effortless when I talk because I've been talking so long, I've been hearing myself talk. And when I hear myself talk, it's called confirmation. So I believe what I speak. So now I have more confidence in what comes out of my mouth. If this is making sense on a scale of one to 10, let me know. If you just get that part, it's a done deal. So what you understand is it's learning, but what you gotta understand is four phases of knowledges. There's four knowledges. There's four knowledges. The first knowledge, what is the first knowledge? It's learning knowledge. There's four knowledges, learning knowledge. You have to learn it, meaning work. Matter of fact, let's look at the definition of learning. I'm gonna look up learn, then learning. So learn means to gain or acquire knowledge or skill in something by study, experience, or being taught. Damn it. Woo, I hope y'all, did y'all catch that? Check this out. It says learn. When you learn something, you gain or acquire knowledge of or skill in something. Jalen, you taking note? I said you in the car, Jalen. Check this out. It says knowledge of or skill in something by studying, comma, experiences, comma, or being taught. So in order to learn, you have to study it. In order to learn, you have to experience it. In order to learn, you have to be taught. Being taught, not be taught, being, I-N-G. That's continuous action. I'm walking, I'm swimming, I'm playing. It's continuous action. So you have to be continuously, right? You have to be continuously being taught that. Gain or acquire the knowledge or skill in something, right? Or in something by studying, experience, or being taught. And yes, this is going to be recorded. It's going to be put on day two. Somebody said David Lodge. Listen, when you study them, it's, it's, it's duplication. Somebody said what? David Vibes. The reason why people say David Vibes is because they see something that David taught me being duplicated. So now David is duplicated. Wow. You know what's so funny? David has hundreds of chairmen. Think about this. David Immunitia is a chairman 750 with hundreds of chairmen. Has David ever did a what to do new in your call for you? No. Does David have a signals chat? No. Does David have some sort of system that you know? No. You know what David's system is? Developing other leaders to do what he does. When you look at Justin, you see David. You see Brittany, you see David. So many people are focused on certain things that really don't matter. All that matters is duplication. Have you effectively and efficiently duplicated yourself? I didn't tell Sadie to put David vibes. She did it. I, I didn't look up the definition of the word because David told me to. I just did it because I was curious. So the first phase of the four knowledges is learning knowledge. You have to learn, but in order to learn, you have to study. You have to experience. So to answer your question, Christy, when it comes to doing um, the IG lives, it's an experience. Don't put yourself in a box. That's why I said that. It's not going to be perfect. Ask this question, this question. No. How's your day going, Christy? How's the opportunity been for you? 
man, what's wh- what's one of the best places you've been to since we since you've gotten started? All you're doing is telling your story. Now other people can relate to. You got to think about it. Think about it logically, right? In school, what do they tell you? Fact, 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 fact. The George president, this and that. History class, nobody really cares. But when somebody's gossiping about another person, they tell you that juicy story, you sitting there like, you. why do people care more about the shade room and baller alert than they do history? Because of the stories, because stories what? They sell. People love to gossip more because of the story. I'm I'm telling y'all, this stuff is simple, but you really have to really get rid of the noise and just dumb this shit down. Excuse my language, right? So number one is what? What's the first phase? Learning. Learning, learning knowledge. knowledge. Learning knowledge. The second one is you go from learning knowledge to applied knowledge. See what's so funny? People will try to teach something not applied. They'll, they'll hear Justin say, show the plan six times a week. And they'll go and tell somebody else, hey, let me show you how to show the plan six times a week. Well, excuse my language, but damn, bro. Have you showed the plan six times a week? That's how I want y'all to start thinking. Because what I want you to do, I want you to fire your upline. I want you to fire me. Now, what do you mean by fire my upline? Meaning don't wait for your upline to tell you to do something that you know you're supposed to be doing. Do you think David told me to do these calls twice a week? No. Do you think Justin told me to do these calls twice a week? No. That's, that's, that's not the play, right? But I've learned, so now I do it because I know I'm supposed to be doing it. Here's my question to you. If you have to remind people to do something, they're not developed. If you have to remind something to develop people, you're not developed. You're really not developed. So what you have to understand is like, okay, cool. How many people do I have to, are you on the get paid session? Are you on the mentorship call? Did you drop a screenshot? You're not developed. This is why I want to see who is dropping screenshots when they hop on calls. And who do I have to tell? Did you drop a screenshot? Hey, the call just started. You saying I'm a leader. I'm a P1000. I'm a chairman. But if somebody has to tell you something that you know you have to do, are you really a leader? Right? These conversations are a little bit deeper, but it, I have to get you. I don't want you to hit the rank. I want you to be the rank. I would rather it take you 90 days to go P1000 than do it in two weeks and you keep it and you hold that shit versus you hit it quick, fast, in a hurry, you don't know what's going on, and now you have doubt and you're complaining because now what you have to understand is you're going to be tested when you're at that level. And what I'm telling you right now, you're going to come across and are you going to do what I've been telling you to do the whole time? When you get tested, right? So it's learning knowledge, then applied knowledge. You have to apply, right? You have to apply, apply. Let's look at the definition of apply. I'm just curious. I'm I'm in my David bag right now. As said, he says, apply, A-P-P-L-Y. Let's look up the definition of apply. It says to make a formal request, okay, to be applicable or relevant, put or spread surface of something, Gives one full attention to a task, work hard. So there's different ways you can use apply, meaning you apply for a job application, you apply basically putting bread on something, or the other definition that we use, apply, give one's full attention to a task, work hard. Are you giving your full attention to the tasks we're giving you? 
See, the reason why I'm doing the foreknowledge is after, because I gave you the homework. Did you even apply the task I told you to do? That's number one. And number two, did you follow up with your team, your P-150s, your P-600s, and ask them, hey, were you on the call? I missed it. Okay, perfect. Here's the recording. Here are the tasks. Let's get them done. Are you going levels deep with it? I told you, levels deep. Did the last training we just did on Thursday go levels deep with all your P-150s and your P-600s and your P-1000s? And it's okay if it did it, but that's why I'm hitting you now. That's why I'm telling you now, because what's the point if you're not duplicating it yourself? What is the point? If you only know the information, it's only helping who? You. But if your team knows the information, who is it helping? Then. Who's it helping? It's going to be helping them. So that, that's how you really got to start looking at it, if that kind of makes sense. On a scale of 1 to 10, who's with me? Let's go. So we learn the information. And what's so funny, this even goes to trading. Learn. Let's go back, right? Let's go back. I'm going to show you how to apply it to trading because there's going to be some people in your business who say, hey, I don't want to build a business, which is perfectly fine. Let me ask you a serious question. I want, to, I want a yes or a no in chat, right? If you had a thousand people that said they just want to trade and they're going to study the charts and they're going to go through go live and you don't have to call them or tell them what to do, would you be mad? Yes or no? Nope. Nope, nope. See, that's the missing key. It's not that everybody has to build a business. It's not that everybody has to trade. It's not that everybody has to do both. But are you, right, going level deep with the goal, with the plan? See, write this down, simplicity. People like simple. Why do you think Uber is popping? It's simple. Why do you think people like DoorDash? It's simple. Why do you think people like Instacart? It's simple. Why do people like Apple over Samsung? It's simple. Are you making this business simple? Are you making trading simple? What if everybody you signed up never quit and they just only wanted to trade? You still gonna go P2000 because you're still putting in the work. Now it may be more work because you're the only person adding to your business, which is perfectly fine. But are you a real P1000 or not? You wouldn't have deranked. Everybody on this call can attest that the products work. Have you made it simple enough for them to understand the information? All the products make you money. Is it simple enough? So now I'm teaching you your own retention, but I'm also teaching you what you've been doing wrong and what you can start doing right. Learn, if I just want to trade, right? I'm learning. Am I gaining and acquiring knowledge of a skill or studying the experience daily? Why do we do the get paid session for the experience? And we're teaching. So the question you got to ask yourself, okay, cool. Are there, are people doing a continuous action of the learning phase? Then after the learning phase, after learn, you have apply. Okay. And this is how you can fact check the people in your business. Oh, it's not working for me. Well, what have you learned? Okay. Then what have you applied? So now let's say Stasia says, I just want to trade, you know, chairman is not for me. Perfect. What have you learned? Let's talk about what you've learned. How about let's talk about what you've learned on Go Live? Let's talk about what you've learned on Facebook, on Instagram. So now she's not building the business. She's talking about what she's learned, but she's getting uncomfortable and I'm putting her in a different situation. And she's telling her what? Story. Hope y'all are catching this stuff. Then I'm going to ask her, give one's full attention to what to ask. What? How much of your attention have you given to the task at hand? And are you working hard for it? 
So you tell me you just want to trade. You tell me you just want to do this cash trap, right? How many hours of your full attention are you giving to it? Are you working hard to it? What, what experiences are you doing with cash trap? Are you just watching cash trap or are you using cash trap? Because when you use cash trap, that's the experience. Because when you make money using the product, boom. That's your experience. So now you learn it. Now you apply it. There's learning knowledge. Then there's the applied knowledge. The reason why people who get results are that much more excited to talk about it is because after they have applied what they've learned, it's that feeling. When you feel something, it goes back to what? Your emotion. People aren't in the business. They're emotionally attached to the business. That's why they're still in the business because of the emotion of what the business have done for them. So now you have to ask yourself, okay, cool. I'm emotionally in the business, but are the people in your team? Because if the people in your team aren't emotionally attached to the business, that's why they left. That's why they quit. Because there's no emotion. One of the main emotions that we use is what? What does Justin say? The very first step of the fast start. Your why. Your why. Your why is a what? Emotion. Your mom, your kid. That's why you want to get people emotionally attached to the business, but everybody don't have a why. Some people like money based on their what? Color, see how everything comes back into tuition, right? So you gotta figure out what personality they are and get them emotionally attached to the business by the experience of them learning something and them applying what they've learned. So now there's an emotion attached to it. So now it's not, oh, I, trading's not for me. It's like, dang, yo, I don't know what I'll do without trading. You know, it's not even, it's not even the money I've made because I really haven't made anything, but it's what it's done for my mindset. People start talking different. People start thinking differently. There's people who think differently who haven't made millions of dollars because there's an emotion connected to it. I feel like we should have had a team call about this. Wow. This is, this is some shit. Excuse my language. But I know this is recorded, but boy, right? So then you, you learn it, right? Then you apply it, right? After you learn it, then you apply the knowledge because you have to apply what you've learned. Some people will see Justin do a training, see me do a training and go do the training. That's why it's a half training because you're not really, you haven't done it. So you have to do things that you're talking about or you cap, stop capping. I can say I'm showing the plan every day. So that's why I can expect it from you. Some of y'all got to get y'all heart in the business. You got to have more heart work and not just hard work. You can't just work your way to chairman, but you can love your way to chairman. Say one more time. You cannot work your way to chairman, but you can love your way to chairman. Because the work is what? Signing people up. This is not a sign up game, family. We are not here just to sign people up. That's why people you just sign up always just quit or just don't repay their membership because all you did was sign them up. They feel like a sign up. Why do you think I use the word sponsor instead of sign up? Because I don't want that verbiage, you are what you speak to come out of my mouth. I could have said, we sign people up, we onboard them and then we launch them. No, we sponsor people, meaning I'm sponsoring you for your success. I'm putting you on. Think of sponsorships. People don't leave their sponsorship. If I'm at LeBron James with Nike, he didn't leave his sponsor. You get an Adidas sponsorship. You don't leave your sponsor. Words are everything. People say, well, I don't want, and that's why people don't understand. They'll start saying, hey, we sign people up. We onboard them. No, you, you haven't done the training. You haven't applied what I'm teaching you. You're skipping the application. You went from learning it. We sponsor, we onboard, we launch the teaching it. We sign, we sign people up. You know, now you're teaching that we sign people up. And then people in your business are signing people up. And then now you've gone levels deep with what? Signing people up. Now you didn't sign somebody up who signed somebody up who signed somebody up who signed somebody up. Now it's a sign up party. And now there's no substance, there's no value because there's no emotion. And you wonder why people are not in the business no more. 
because all you wanted, you got what you spoke. You spoke, I just want to sign people up. So you've got what you spoke versus sponsor. I want to sponsor people to the business. I want to onboard people, then I want to launch. So you go from learning knowledge to applied knowledge, then now teaching knowledge. See, it hits different when you've applied it, so now you can teach it. Because there's certain things that I've been through in my business, that I've been through in my experiences, that I can now teach on because I've went through the experiences. There's a reason why we say, spend your last to go to an event. I wanna ask you guys a question. Some of you guys went to Orlando. Let's say you only had a thousand dollars in your bank account. Now it's like 800 and the flight was 250 and the hotel was 150. You spent half of all you have left in your bank account. Would you have done it for the experience that you've gotten in Orlando with David? Yes or no? And be honest. I want you to, I want, this is honesty. Yep, yep, yep. You know what's so funny? There were people who told me they can barely make it to David and they hit me and told me, yo, I'm part of David's course. I'm like, what the, you spent two, 3,000? I said, wait, 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 where you get the money from? <laughs> I'm thinking people got money. You gonna figure out a way because of the experience that you've applied. So now you can talk from a, you can teach on why you have to be at the event. You can teach on why you can't miss the next one. You can teach on, you gotta drive, you get what it, listen, don't miss it. We're not just capping y'all down. We're not just, oh, we just need to get people to the event to build the business. No, I'm emotionally attached to getting people there because I want people to feel my emotion. But I had to apply what my mentor told me to get me there and I applied Hey, just get, do whatever it takes. Do whatever it takes. I slept in cars. I couldn't afford a hotel room and took showers at LA Fitness. So I can speak on it. So now I'm more emotionally attached to it. So now you guys can be more attached to the event. But we don't say, we don't explain all that in detail. No, we just say what? Get to the event. We say just get to the event because we know what the event is going to do. That's why it's so important just to be teachable and coachable. Just don't even ask the questions, just get there because it'll all make sense. It'll really all make sense. So that's how you gotta start thinking. I gotta start teaching what has been taught to me. But you can't make it easy on people. I'm not saying don't help people, but you can't, like, you can't pay for their ticket, pay for their fight and pay for the Airbnb because now there's no skin in the game. Let's put it like this way. I know people that signed people up and paid their entire membership. They've done nothing. There's no skin in the game. But I've given a person $25 and $50 off. They got skin in the game. So I can't teach you all, hey, invest in your business, do a $25 off promotion if I didn't do one. Because you don't know what that's gonna do for somebody else. I've actually, there's been times, right? Where I've actually um, given somebody money to get started and that was their last, they didn't have anything else. But now they remember that, which is another emotion, which is an experience, which is gonna help you learn. I just gave you the definition of learn. I don't know what learn means. I just looked it up, right? Let's look at the word teach. And the reason why I'm not looking up teaching is because what you got to understand, new people are always joining the what? I hope everybody knows this. New people are always join the what? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Business. I hope y'all know that. Come on, man. You know why everything shouldn't just be Go to a video, go to a video, go to a video, because new people are always joining the business. So what does that mean, Parrish? Well, 
can I just send somebody a recording of the video of the presentation? Yeah. But since new people are always joining, I'm always doing what? Trainings. I could just video people to death with the trainings, but the reason why trainings have to keep going, teachings have to keep going, is because it's always for somebody new, number one, or number two, for you to hear it another time, you hear it another time to make it more, um, more in depth or detail, right? So you can hear it multiple times, AKA repetition, but also teaching so you can get better. Y'all, check this out. People say, parents, how do the presentation? Right? Matter of fact, who's on this call who's doing presentations heavy? Uh, Jalen. No matter of fact, Tiani. Where you at, Tiani? I'm here. You used to be afraid to do the presentation. Yes. She still don't show her face in the camera. Look at her right now, y'all. At least she got the hair. I'm Before, here. Okay, cool. You know, when I see her, she'd be, hi, Paris, how you doing? And I'd be like, nah, but now she's putting her face in the camera more due to rep of what? <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So what has helped you learn the presentation the most? Um, I was practicing the presentation. When I would practice it, I would do really good. And then that day we was in Brooklyn you, um, I was sitting down and I was doing a presentation and then the second half, you're supposed to come on and finish it out. And you just like, you're going to do the presentation. And I was just like, you gave me an hour. And I'm like, um, I don't think I'm prepared. You was like, you just going to do it. And then you made me do it. And then you got up and you walked in the room and I was like, I don't know where you're going. And you was like, you got to come back. He was like, just finish it out. And I was like, but I don't know what I'm doing. You was just like, finish it out. And I was just, I was stuck. I was mad, but it made me get better at it. Exactly. Let's think about that. That was an experience, right? I got her uncomfortable, right? And she was scared. But now through that experience, I, I applied what was done to me. She cannot do it to somebody else, <laughs> right? When it comes to teaching, another thing when it comes to teaching is repetition. Yo, Tiani showed up playing every day now. She don't say, Paris, I'm afraid, what should I do? She's making flyers, doing free trials. She can't be stopped. She's on a mission. How, how did she get there? How does she do that? It's called duplication, family. I'm giving you the game to duplicate not only yourself, but other people in your business. Guess who else is doing presentations now? Essie. All the time, duplication. You can't do it by yourself. So it says teach, right? The definition of teach. It says to show or explain to someone how to do something. It says to show, means you have to physically show somebody what you're doing. Then it says, or explain, right? You have to explain it. You have to dumb it down. Like I said, some people be saying uh, HFX, man. It's really this and that. There's a support and resistance. And, you know, this call button with the rollover, you know, call means we're predicting the market to go up and up is a point price of price. You know, well, the put button is going down, right? But it's a sell. You're selling the Euro USD. So you're selling the Euro USD to the, to the JPY. And then the rollover is giving you more time. The time is on the trade. So the time is how long you're in. I'm like, what are you talking about, bro? Oh my gosh. <laughs> no wonder they're confused. No wonder they say, hey, bro, give me a one-on-one. -on -one. Listen, I am stuck. No. See that little pretty green button? The green button means the market's going to go up. See the little red button? The red button means the market's going to go down. How many times have you seen me break that stuff down like that? The green button means we want it to go up. The red button means the market to go down. See that pre little gold line? That's where price is right now. What is price? That's our entry point where you enter the market. So whenever you hit those buttons, you enter. You just want the gold line to be above that pre little green line. Okay, that's a little more simpler. See what's so funny family is the more you teach the information, you find new ways to break it down easier. People say, well, how do, you, how do you make it so relatable? 
uh, I've been teaching the same shit, excuse my language, the same stuff for three years now. How do you think I came up with sponsor onboard launch? Well, let me go ahead and sign you up. Uh, here's your link. Well, we're going chairman today. Give me a list of 100, right? I need you to call these people. Hey, go ahead and set your broker account up. Um, here's the $100 link. Hey, this is Discord. There's a Zoom call today at four o'clock. Don't, don't make sure you're on it. You know, hey, send me your flyer. Send me your why. Also, we have a mentorship call on Sunday. We have an event coming. You're overwhelming people. People are like, what did I sign up for? That, why do you think I have the platinum 1000s, right? Doing the onboardings. Because I want you to get better at it. And what's so funny to me is I have to beg the leaders to do the onboard calls, not knowing they're gonna help you get better. It's crazy. Not knowing you do, well, I don't know it yet, Parrish, I don't care. Well, I'm not perfect at it yet, Parrish, I don't care, just do the call. And then I said, you know what? Let's do two people at once so you can get more reps in of teaching. So now if I go first and Yachty goes last, Yachty can learn from me. And if Yachty goes last and I went first, I'm going to stay on the call and learn from her. And then when Essie and Kiera goes, now Essie can learn from Kiera and Kiera can learn from Essie. Wow. Wow. But maybe I don't break it down like that. And people, well, now I know why I'm supposed to be doing it, Parrish. Don't worry about the how. Don't worry about the why. Just do it. So if you're a P1000 on this call, please start doing the onboards. If you're watching this and you're a P1000, please put your name on the little document start showing the plan or are onboarding with different individuals to go learn from them. People think I'm trying to get them busy work. It's freaking crazy. It's freaking crazy. On a scale of one to 10, who's with me? I'm glad I recorded this call. Can y'all still see and hear me clearly? I feel like it's going slow. I don't I know if I'm my so screen. You, you look like a ghost. I bet. I don't know if I'm my screen. You look like a ghost. Yeah, you like it. Mm. Yeah, you like it. Definitely in the matrix. Bro. Okay. Um, but is 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 the audio Definitely fine? Definitely in the matrix, bro. It's hey, glitching. Hey man, I didn't zone. Yeah. Back. I'm I'm having an outer body experience it's right glitching. now. That's yeah. what it is. But can you hear that? Can you hear it clearly though? Is that is that cool? Like when people speak, the audio comes after. If that makes sense. Like when people speak, the audio comes after. If that makes sense. Oh, the audio. Well, listen. If you're watching this recording, just listen to the words. You know what it is? I'm ahead of my time, and my body is moving faster than my word, because the word comes first. Word is the spirit, man. Right. So I'm speaking what people should be doing, and my body's just trying to catch up. That's all it is, man. I, I'm seeing myself where I need to be. And I think you got to catch up sometimes. Sometimes you're just ahead of the game. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. <laughs> all right. So teaching, right? It says yeah. to show or explain to someone how to do something. You're teaching them how to do it. Some people just do a train to say, hey, I did a training today, Parrish. I worked really hard. No, that's a fail. You know how you did a training really good? When people apply what you told them to do in the training. So if I do a training in your city and nobody pops a rank, it was a waste of me coming to your city. That's how you judge it. If I do a training on how to show the plan and nobody leaves my presentation starting to show the plan, it was a fail. If I do a training on how to make money and people aren't making money, it was a fail. Because whatever you track will what? Family type in the chat. Grow. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Right? 
So teach. It says to teach someone. I want to be completely honest with you, family. You cannot cheat the work. Everything is not going to be a team call. Everything is not going to be a Zoom. You got to get your hands dirty and get one-on-one. -on -one. Get personal because that's an experience that you're giving to another individual who you don't even know. You got to get personal with what you're doing. Get personal. Get personal, get personal, get personal, get personal. All right? The team calls are good, but you also want to get personals as well. All right? Personals, personals, personals. So you go from learning knowledge to applied knowledge. And then after that, what you want to do after you apply and you learn, you duplicate. Let's look at the definition of duplicate. Wow, there's a movie called Duplicate. That's crazy. So I gotta look it up. It says duplicate. So it says exactly like some, something else, especially through having been copied, having two correspondings or identical parts, one or two of more identical parts. Wow, Cambria just said, if she had seven of her, she would be a what? Chairwoman. Why? Because she duplicated herself. She didn't say half of herself. She didn't say 30% of herself. She said, if I had multiple of me, meaning the whole me, all of me, I would be chairman. Some of y'all are only duplicating parts of people, not all of people. I'm not saying you have to be them. I'm saying you have to duplicate them, meaning don't half-ass. Well, they said show the plan. So I showed it three times. We said show the plan every day. Well, they said be at the event. Well, I only watched it on live. Pharaoh, get away from me. Back up. Back up. I'm sorry. He's messing with the computer. Right? Duplicate. That's an exact copy. What did, what, did, what, did, what did Sadie say? She said, I'm on David vibes. You know what David says? David says he can tell who the mentor is of that chairman based on how well they've been duplicated. Isn't it crazy or normal now that you know, because I'm teaching you, that Brittany is like a female version of Justin? Mm. Isn't it crazy? How Riyadh acts just like David? Wow, duplication. Right? It's, it's the reason why Sadie brought up David is because she sees parts of David in me. So what you gotta understand is, are parts of your chairman people you wanna be in you? Now, let me go a little deeper on that. Everybody has different chairmen. Everybody has a, a different image of chairman. You don't have to be the physical image of your chairman, but you at least have to embody the spiritual part of that chairman. So everybody who went chairman has the same, you know, capabilities. Perfect. You prime example. I cut my hair. Why? Duplication. I was. They told me you can't go chairman with your hair. I said, okay, I did it. But other levels is not just work. Everybody knows I work my butt off. The work got me the chairman, but I can't work my way to a million dollars. My next level of income, I'm going to be making two, three times what doctors and lawyers make and judges. Doctors, lawyers, and judges, hold up now. I have to look the part. That's 700,000 a year, minimum. I have to look the part. 
I can't, you can't expect to be a chairman making doctor and lawyer money and you're not acting like a doctor or lawyer. You think a doctor says, ah, oh, I'm not motivated today. Do you think a lawyer says, man, I can't, I, I can't go to court today, man. It's, I don't feel good. What? Stop. It. Stop. It. Why do you think chairmen say, oh, I can't show the plan today. I just don't feel like it. No. It's part of the responsibility. The responsibility comes with the rank. That's why I want y'all to, I want to duplicate that into y'all head. If you want the rank, are you doing the responsibilities? If you want the level of income, are you doing the responsibilities? Rank, responsibility. Responsibility, rank. If you look at yourself, don't type in the chat. If you hit a level of P1000, P2000, right? I want you to write this down too. You always act like the rank ahead. Meaning, if I'm a P600, I need to be walking and talking like a P1000. If I'm a P1000, I need to be walking and talking like a P2000. If I'm a P2000, I need to be walking and talking like a P5000. If I'm a P5000, I need to be walking and talking like a chairman. Were you doing that for your rank consistently? And I promise you, if you were, you didn't be ranked. And if you didn't, that's why you lost. You have to be, if I'm a P1, I got to be P2000 all day, every day. My energy, P2000. My vibe, P2000. The way I talk, P2000. The way I show up to events, P2000. The way I do my trainings, P2000. The way I prospect, P2000. The way I show the plan, P2000. My level of communication, P2000. My level of knowing the information, P2000. The way I onboard, P2000. The way you, listen, you have, to, we're studying success here, family. I'm teaching you how to run a successful business, but you have to study the basics. If my goal is, I can't just say, I'm going chairman. Well, are you acting like a chairman? Are you talking like a chairman? Do you show up like a chairman? Do you walk like a chairman? Do you do trainings like a chairman? Do you simplify things like a chairman? Do you work like a chairman? It's easy to talk about it, family. I don't want to talk about it. I want to, I want to see it. People say, I'm going P2000. I say, all right, bet. But when I see the work, that's how I know it's going to happen. Because guess what? Seeing is not believing. I know we've heard that. You got to see to believe. That's cat. You only see in the physical. You only see in the physical. Write that down. I want you to believe in the spiritual so you can see in the physical. See, I want you to be that P2000, that P5000, that chairwoman that you know you are in the, phys in the spiritual so it's going to manifest in the, in, the, in the physical, which is why believing is seeing. Isn't it so funny? You start believing for a rank, you start believing for a goal, and it's done. You start believing for a, a, a certain type of person you want to be, and it's done. You have to believe like that. That's why I think David preached on belief so much. Here's a gem. Look at David's level of belief level and what he teaches on belief and look at his duplication, how many leaders he has. He's taught so many people to believe in themselves. So now they're that much more easy, teachable and coachable. So now they're that much more duplicatable. It's easy to tell somebody what they already believe in. Right. It's like it's like religion. It's easy to tell you what happened and what didn't happen when you believe in your religion. I got another thing. It's easy for me to gossip with you about your boyfriend and what he did or what he didn't do. Why? Because you already believe it. So you're already feeding into it. It's easy to, for for me to, to 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 be in this business. And two girls not getting along because you believe this girl don't like you and she believed that you don't like her. So when somebody's telling you about something, it's easy to understand and relatable because you already believe it's already true. 
The foundation is believing. You have to be believing at that level at all times, at all times, because there's, you, you know, there's something at a battery, right? Think of, think of your car and your car is being driven. There are things that add to your battery, but there's also things that drain your what? Battery. You have to look at your life and see what's draining your battery. What's draining your battery? What's draining you and cut it off like a hand? I don't let nothing drain me. I just, I shut it out. I block it out. I don't care because I don't want nothing to drain me of my what? Vibration. Because I have to be operating and vibrating at this high what? Level. That's duplication, family. Right? So what do we do? Recap. We learn. We apply, we teach, and then we duplicate. We learn, we apply, we teach, and then we duplicate. We learn, we apply, we teach, and then we duplicate. I promise you, family, if more people do what I just broke down in your business, the less you have to do. Because when you duplicate yourself, you're leveraging other what? Type in the chat. Oh my gosh, hope y'all get it. Hope y'all get it. You're leveraging other what? People. Oh my gosh. Why do you think chairman is seven to 10 P1000s? Because you're leveraging other people who went P1000. Ding, ding, ding. Leverage. But you can't leverage another person because you probably duplicated some bullshit into somebody else. So now you didn't, you didn't, you didn't develop half P1000s, bullshit ass P600s, P1 feet that really don't have no emotion. So now you've du duplicated some BS in your business, which is why you're not where you want to be. And you feel like, well, Parrish, I'm working really hard. Parrish, I'm showing the plan. I'm showing up. Well, you're not properly duplicating what you need to be doing. Because we're always duplicating family, whether it's good or bad. We're always planting seeds, whether it's good or bad. Sometimes you, you plant good seeds, but sometimes you'll plant bad seeds. So you start saying, wait a second, why am I not P2000 yet? I plant all these good seeds, but it's because you went back and replanted some bad seeds. So now the good seeds hit the bad seeds and there's no growth. And now you'd be like, well, Paris, I've been doing the same thing for the last six months. I'm not seeing where I want to be. No, you haven't telling you, man, I'm <laughs> hope this makes sense. I really hope it makes sense. That's why it's called the blueprint. You don't have to understand it. You don't have to know how it works. You just have to duplicate. And when you do that, you'll be six figures, just like this. So that's my time, family. This was day two of our 90 day run. You know what I'm saying? I really hope those that are watching this recording, I really hope you start applying and taking these notes. If you haven't done the homework, please go back and do the homework and make sure you apply it to your team. And I make sure you apply that philosophy of going live on Instagram with people in your business. Apply and learn, apply and learn, apply and learn, apply and learn, then go teach. Then go teach. So, um. What I'm going to do for the homework for this week is I want you to redo the homework that you didn't do, first of all. So do that homework again. If you already did it, keep doing it. And then what I'm going to add to it is you need to, here's what's so funny, family. It's easier for them to hear it from the what? Source. It's like a game telephone. I want y'all to make sure when you hop on these calls every week, is to check, check, check what? Be aware of your vital signs, levels deep. Are these calls going levels deep in your business? How many of your P150s, P600 show up? Imagine if every P150, P600, P1000 that joined your business, right? Hopped on these two calls that we did and just rewatched them multiple times. How much more would that help your business grow? I'm giving you what you need to get your business to the next level. That's why I recorded these. So when it comes to Thursday, 
I don't just want to see you on the call. I want you to see you with your team on the call because you only need seven to 10 people. Let's just round up and say 10. You only need 10 people that's willing to do what you're doing right now. You get 10 to do what you're doing right now and make a decision. I promise you, Chairman has done this year. Chairwoman has done this year. All you need is 10. You don't need 500 people. You need 10 leaders that are developed, that know how to do what you know how to do without you. So your homework is going to be to show up on Thursday with your 10. And if you don't got 10, now you know what you got to do. You got to get you a 10. You got to get you a squad. You got to get you a team. You got to get you a family. Right? These calls are up for P1. You got to at least be P150. Well, or at least got, I'll give it two persons. You know what I'm saying? But you got to, they got to, they got to be here mentally. Some people are just too new not to really know what's going on, if that kind of makes sense. Your homework is going to be to rewatch this video twice and rewatch Thursday's video twice and to hold your P150s, your P600s, P1000s, P2000s accountable to doing the same. So do the old homework. We already did. Check. If you already did the homework, keep doing it. I want you to watch this video, matter of fact, three times. And I want you to watch the last video three times. Do your best. Obviously, listen to it. Take notes. Because sometimes you'll hear something different. You know what I'm saying? Because I got I to gotta get this information in your head like it's in my head. Right? So you're responsible to making sure that it's going levels deep within your business, with your P-150s, your P-600s, your P-1000s. And then now you can't be mad because you did your what, family? Your best. You can't be upset when they quit because you, I did my best. They're just not fit for my team. You have to know your worth. You a boss, you a leader, you're a millionaire. But because you're a millionaire, you have to understand everybody's not meant to be your friend and be in your business. So when they exit stage left or stage right, just know it wasn't meant for you because you did your what best. That's why there's only four aces and a deck of cards. We just looking for the aces, baby. So it's your boy Money Making P. I love y'all. Why are you dropping the recordings? Uh, it's going to be on YouTube. So I'm going to drop it on YouTube and drop it in the chat. I'm going to redrop both of them. So the homework, like I just told y'all, is to do the homework again that we already did. And if you forgot the homework, when you rewatch last Thursday, you're going to get the homework. You got to rewatch this video three times and last video three. And if you're watching this recording six months, 12 months down the line, I promise you, I'm giving you the system of your business in order. See, we're building upon everything. But I had to give you the vital signs first before I can give you the sauce. See, so many people be want to do a train and be like, I did a fire training to be cool. I want the check. So we have to be in phase what? One. I want you to forget the past, the good, the bad, the ugly, the amazing. I want you to be grateful for your now. Be grateful that you woke up. Be grateful that you have one person in your business. Be grateful that you're still in the business. Be grateful that you're still attached to people like us. And I want you to focus on your future. Forget the past. Be grateful for your now and focus. Focus. Focus like it's an obsession on where you want to be. If you're not P1000, your obsession right now is P1000. If you're not a, if you're not a, if you're not a P600 right now, you're even if you already hit it, I don't care because we forgot the past. Your obsession, P600. If you're not a P2 and you're a P1, your obsession, P2. If you don't have nobody and you were a P150 and you derank your obsession, P150. Because we're grateful for the now. So that's my time. I love y'all, man. Hey, hey P. Yo, P. Yo. Hey, y'all, since you're a Zoom.